Hey! Watch out, you dung eater! Stop that now! Go! <laughs> the brothers. I would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. It is too quiet here. Where are the brothers? Or the abbot's men. This have the stench of betrayal to you. Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. It is too quiet here. Where are the brothers? Or the abbot's men? Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Cunebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are vile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real, and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well. That concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. is lost to us. Your guard waits and yet to my axe, Saxons! Fulkay let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did, and with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd. 
my brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the Maw of Death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. <laughs> this will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find no! Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. This land of summer, mists and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England. All of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars light your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long been away, but it is fiercely beautiful beneath the vanity arrogance and pettiness of men. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an architect, a builder of wonders. The great mosque of Samara, his masterpiece. Another man who played the Caliphate's game better took the credit. He was exiled and died in poverty. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the heart. Warm nights, bodies, and the tender love of another. There are some who are worthy. A scant view that tower above the solid mass. Men and women of vision and valor. Sigurd is one such man. He is. Fulke isn't wrong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest until he's safe. Nor will I, my friend. of learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Thralls and churls cannot read. What would be the point? There's so much of human history would be open to them. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all but a few hard-headed men of the cloth. You have studied these works yourself? In my youth, I was consumed with a passion for understanding. I spent many hours a day in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. A seminary? A great library, full of the greatest learning of mankind. For a boy seeking answers, it holds many riches. One day, I was sitting cross-legged, devouring a study by the great astronomer al Parismi. With the swiftness belying his years, the papers were plucked from my grasp by the great man himself. His presence stole my voice. He... You killed him! Die! <laughs> His presence stole my voice. He was kind and open-hearted. He showed me such scientific wonders. What did you learn there? Calendars and calculations placing the sun, moon, and five planets. Equations that crackled and sparkled with divine intelligence. I asked the great man, is this what it is to know God? You saw your God's hand in the rooms. I found wisdom, and I have been searching for more ever since. There is great vastness outside ourselves, Eivor. Most only notice a few grains of sand. Like Sigurd, I believe. See the endless flow of power. See you, Sigurd. Is this what Fulke sees as well? I believe it is. We will find no friends in Kent. This place swarms with Fulke's people. Sigurd will be well guarded. He should be our path. Ready? Follow me. They 
of an attack on sight here. This is a trap. Why would full take us to sight? Cut short, Jerry. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You hey, have much I'm to do in this man. life. I know it. I sense a conscience within you both. Your destiny does not escape the souls of this godhouse with the blood. This must be the way. Let us go. Tangles that speak of elves and demons. Sick head. in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. 
Hyden will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he is alive. But not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Randvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Randvi. Step aside, now. You never found him. Because you didn't look. <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Radri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. You are a good boy. Stop there, wolf kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith 
in Sigurd's judgment, because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dak. But that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death! You spew nonsense, Dag. This is absurd. Enough! Let the circle be made! That need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Avor. Make it quick. Stop! I do not want to do this. Walk away. Walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. Have courage, Eivor. Make it quick. Let's see what you do. There's no honor in this. What do you know of all the secret did not I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. If I had any pity, I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this, and fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, and find it in the next. <clears throat> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest.
Go to your homes! King my own. And this! This is the answer I gave him! Now you will hear the truth on Lannist. None. None more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you! And I will burn the fields! And dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him! That! That is my oath! That is my oath. Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. You died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well. <laughs>